Hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make uh, sopa aguada, sopita. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan, about, I'd say, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. And then I am going to make, I'm gonna make uh, sopita de caracol, which is, um, the shells shell sopita okay so i'm gonna it's already hot so to that i'm gonna add a fourth one fourth of a of a piece of onion you guys can hear that it's hot i'm not gonna add the whole sopa because not all my kids eat sopa so what i'm gonna do is put it open take the sopita so I put about, say over half of the sopita and put that to the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it cook. It's on, I'm going to put it on medium high. You want um, the sopita to cook, to toast up. If it doesn't toast up, it will um, it will get too soggy once you guys um, once you cook it once you put the water and everything it'll get too um, too soggy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it toast. I do have it on medium high so it'll speed up the process. And in my um, blender I have about three tomatoes, mini uh, Roma tomatoes two garlic cloves and to that I'm gonna go ahead and add I'd say like a teaspoon of, of uh, cumin and then I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of uh, chicken broth one cup of chicken broth and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it I am not gonna add um, nor to this the chicken bouillon I'm not gonna add chicken bouillon because it um the broth already has it what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna wait to taste it and see if it needs uh more so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just you have to make sure that you're constantly stirring so it doesn't um so it doesn't burn okay I'm gonna go ahead and toss it around because it is toasting up. So once it is done, I'm gonna lower it. So I'm gonna lower it to about a three, a medium, a, a, a high low because it's already toasting and I don't want it to toast too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this together real quick. So there it is, I blended it up, so now that it is it's all toasted, I'm going to show you guys, as you can see, you don't want to burn them, um, you just want to toast them really good, I mean, the toastier they are, the better, because um, they won't get too soggy when you add the water, so I'm going to go ahead and add that the pan and obviously you're going to need more water so I'm going to add hot water to this and then I'm going to go ahead and stir it up And 
the blender, the, the juice that I blended was about uh, two and a half cups. And I am gonna add four more cups. See if I need more. Uh, I think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and add I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and add two more cups to that, and that's about right. So then this, you're gonna put it on medium high because you wanna uh, boil it out. So since I put about six cups of water, what I'm gonna do now is take some uh, chicken bouillon I'm gonna take some because it's a lot of water and I'm gonna take about two teaspoons for now just two teaspoons to see um, what it tastes like so then I'm gonna go ahead and let it boil out I'm gonna go ahead and mix it good So a good trick is put your spoon over the pot, a wooden spoon, it has to be a wooden spoon, and it won't boil over. So I'm going to go ahead and move you guys so you guys can see it. So put on the wooden spoon, let it come to a complete boil. And then you're gonna um, lower it and cover it. So right now we're gonna go ahead and let it come to a boil. Okay, so I'm gonna take the spoon off because I have it on high because it's about to start boiling. So I'm gonna give it a little, a little stir. And you guys will see that it's going to start boiling real quick. All of this little, the reason why you want it to do a hard boil is because you basically want this to turn into the sauce that you guys, that we put like, you know, the tomato sauce, we want it to get thick. So it needs to um, boil out all of this, the tomato, and it's gonna turn thick once, once it boils. So if you wanna just keep turning it till it boils, you can. So I have it on medium high. Yeah, I have it on medium high. So as you guys can see, it starts turning colors. It starts going from like a pink to a bright orange, and then eventually it will get to a nice red. So you guys can see it's getting a nice uh, boil. Okay, so it's getting a nice boil as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it around. See the noodles have not expanded yet. So what I'm gonna do is once it boils, boils like that you're gonna go ahead and cover it up so once it boils then you're gonna turn it down to a, a, a high low where you can still see it boiling and then you're gonna go ahead and leave it like that for about 15 to 20 minutes Okay, so I went ahead and turned it up a little bit just to boil out the rest of um, the
the tomato just so it, it thickens up a little bit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna un I'm gonna cover it. And as you guys can see, it's already really boiling and it's all you guys can see it was it was white earlier. So the noodles have gone gotten a little bit bigger as you guys can see and that's what you want to see I usually leave the onion I don't take it out uh, we eat it or I give it to my son so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it um, continue boiling on uh, a high I'm gonna take a little bit of the juice and I'm gonna go ahead and taste it to see if it needs more seasoning I'm gonna go ahead and taste it guys And it does, it does need, I'm gonna add a little bit more um, nor chicken bouillon. So since I only added two, I didn't add any to the liquid because um, the chicken broth obviously had some and then it has some flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and add three. So that's in total five. So like I said, if you guys don't like it too salty, if you guys don't like too much, um, too much sodium salt in your soup don't don't add too much but it needs a little bit more flavor so it is about to be done this is it so right before i'm gonna turn it off is i grabbed a bunch of uh cilantro so i'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro on the top of it and once I add, once I add my cilantro, I completely shut it off. Cilantro tends to get a bit bitter. So you don't want to um, cook the cilantro. So then that is it. It is completely done. Usually I make um, sopita, sopa guada for my my um my little ones sometimes i make food that they cannot that they cannot eat so sopita is always a good thing for them i mean who doesn't love sopita so there you guys let serve it out mm -hmm. cilantro in there and there it is you guys sopa guada thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye